Marco. Hello. Marco. Hello. Marco. Hello. Okay, I think you guys got it. <laughs> it's funny watching it because it is like evenly I was, spaced. I was trying to see. I, I was trying to see if I could gradually work up to where I was actually ahead of him. It's it, on the uh, <laughs> timeline. Like the Marcos are evenly placed. Hello. It is Sunday, the 29th of September. You're listening to the podcast. Hello and welcome. And that is how we do. That is how we sync sick tracks. Yo, my main man card. I don't know what I'm saying. What am I saying? Hello, guys. Yo. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Uh, stuff. We haven't done this. We missed this for like the past two weeks because, oh, yeah, you have a headset now. We were waiting for you to get a headset and stuff. Yes, I have a headset. It is wireless. It is currently plugged in, so it can charge. Don't but... overcharge it. Is that a thing? Like, do you have well, to worry about overcharging, or has technology advanced? I think as long I, th I, th I think as long as I don't like try to run it plugged in while it's fully charged, I should be fine. If I just unplug it and use the battery down to where it gets low and then plug it back in and charge it, it should last a lot longer maybe, than Maybe my it's a certain did. material, like lithium batteries or like a certain kind that can be overcharged and like others can't. Well, that's just it. Most most of your um, rechargeables are going to be lithium batteries. Oh. So. Well, I don't know. I just said lithium because that's like the only battery-ish thing I know of. Anyway, should we go over like news-ish stuff or what have you guys been doing? What do you, what, what do you want to talk about today? Um, doing? Yeah. yeah. Has anyone been doing anything fun? Lots of Guild Wars and Warframe. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lo lots of Guild Wars, and I've actually been making some plans for my channel since I haven't put anything up in a can while. I, can I yell and now, scream a particular game's name somewhat loudly, even though it's late at night? Please, 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 please. Uh, I was going to say that I'd been playing a little bit of Mark of the Ninja. Damn it! You're not going to let me spoil what we did on that thing on that day. <laughs> Dude, just go what, ahead. What, You're what? not going to listen to us even if we tell no, you no. No, I'll keep it a secret. There's something coming that I think we promised mm -hmm. ages ago, and then Carta has yet to edit it. But yes, stuff on your channel. Yes. Okay. Mark of the Ninja and what? Any other fun uh, as, as as far as playing, it's pretty much it. That in Guild Wars, but uh, he's been yeah, spamming I'm... Super Adventure Box. Oh dear Jesus! Why? To the point of to the point because of I being unhealthy. I... Oh, <laughs> seriously? You're you're gonna make after I link to you that picture? What picture? Really? What picture? Somebody out there has managed to get every single blue weapon skin for Super Adventure Box, every single green weapon skin, which is Tribulation oh, Mode World 1, know. and every single yellow weapon skin, which is uh, Tribulation Mode World 2. Every single one. The only one he doesn't have is the blue backpack skin, and you can't get that now. You could only get it back in April. Oh. So... The no existence. room to talk. I am not that bad. I only wanted a full set of weaponry for my guardian, and I almost have it. I just need one more run. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, what? What's that? Your house caught on fire? Oh, that's not so bad. It could have been a forest fire. <laughs> Chicago. It has nothing to do with anything, and you know it. Chicago. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> and. Yeah, I've been going through the uh, the indie titles looking for games that I might be interested in uh, putting on the channel. Th I'm probably going to pull Bioshock Infinite off my wish list just because it's so much more expensive oh, than everything. Oh, spoiler cast else. hard and I can actually like spoil the entire thing for you? I didn't spoil it for you that day. That thing that must never be spoken again, even though it's months later, is not important for what you spoiled it for yourself. Right. No, just, you know, you already mentioned it. I'm not going to mention it. You already did. Just by, by saying you're not going to mention it, you mentioned they it. They don't so. know, though. <laughs> There's that one kid going, uh, it's just, oh, I'll what? No, just... Uh, t -t -t -nya. I'm going to make you play that way. Anyway. Okay, so our next news topic is... Um, News topic. I was going to say I've been playing a little animal called Elods with you, which is pretty awesome. Oh, that. Okay, it's it's very like point and clicky. I don't want to say wow ish, but it's standard. Tradi it's it's wow traditional, but it's pretty fun. The leveling curve is pretty fast. It 
like we got to like what 11 and we're it's just now like normalizing like i only played for one day and i'm already to 11 uh but the premise is they're like these islands kind of floating in the dimension like the ether and uh once you get to a certain level it's all about like building your own ship and going from uh island to island like getting treasure and it's like league versus empire so there's that like world faction pvp going on and you board other people's ships it sounds really really cool it's just there's that really dull early game <laughs> where you just have to kind of grind through it to get to the fun stuff later yeah that's i think that's one of the things i really like about guild wars 2 is the fact that some of the stuff like the pvp and the world v world they auto level you yeah to max level so that you even if you don't have all of the bells and whistles that your average you know top end player does at least you have the raw stats well i think you can actually go on someone else's ship really low level it's just no one's going to want you on there what do you think shane is it your cup of tea do you like that game or not really i just like the world it's not something that i would play like all day every day for weeks at a time it's a fun little time waster every now and again when your main games get boring Mm -hmm. you need a break yeah yeah, yeah. that was dot g potato i think god g potato was like the first publisher i was obsessed with i grew up on free to play games by the way me and shane oh don't even get (laughs) g potato was like our dealer that's a very long history lesson Uh, fly for fun bitches the one we don't mention Fly for Fun anymore. <laughs> it is dead to us. It's actually a pretty good game. Anyway. God God rest its soul, yeah. but it is dead. <laughs> so yeah, I've, late, lately I've just been going through Steam and going, oh, that looks like a fun little indie game. I think I'll add that to my wish list so that, you know, Skull eventually girls. sometime down the road I can... Skull girls. I'm a thing, I've been thinking about that. The nice thing about that is I was actually watching TV's WTF yes. video of that, and he basically explained that this tutorial system doesn't just teach you how to yeah, that's, do each character's moves. It teaches you how to play a fighting that's game. That's what I've been really excited about it for. The problem is... It is, it is a true tutorial yeah. mode. So that's a thing. But, yeah, I might go ahead and add that to my list at some point. I mean, right now I've got stuff like uh, Rogue Legacy. Oh, dear God. Uh, <laughs> That'll be an <laughs> IDL one day. <laughs> Uh, Lord. uh Le- legend of dungeon that actually looks pretty cool uh electronic super joy I want which that game. has the most stellar music ever actually we could segue Seriously, i i i i want to i want to just straight up buy the music i don't even care we about could the game. segue into another topic <laughs> but wait what was i gonna say crap i was gonna say something oh yeah really quick before we do so you've actually decided to not give a damn about um like talking to publishers and monetizing videos you're just gonna like put whatever up on your channel right well it's gonna be a case of you know i'll do my research and if they at least seem open to monetization i will reach out to them but if it's you know a case of like well i would really like to put up you know a guild wars 2 video and you know i don't want guild you know i don't want arena net going well, our policy says that you can't make money off of our game, right. so we're going to put a copyright strike. I'm just not going to deal with that. I'm just going to I'm just not going to monetize it. Well, see, here's the thing cuz you can you, you can pick and choose what you monetize. So, I I know that it's kind of a gray area to selectively monetize stuff on your channel, but I don't see why it's a big deal as long as you know, as long as I am not making money specifically off of videos based on content you know of other of companies that aren't okay with it two big things one i don't know if this is true it's just back when faith with a back when faith was like actually contributing she said that once you start monetizing anything on your channel like the google police will find you and say hey you're monetizing this video which is okay but you have other videos on your channel that are not okay so we're gonna like copyright strike it's like what i don't know if that's true though i think that might be a little bit of bs that doesn't actually it doesn't make no sense sense. uh and secondly uh, another you know for for one for one thing google's probably making a lot more money off of those ads than 
the content creators are That's anyway. the second thing I was going to say. So I don't think necessarily that YouTube is going to say, oh, well, we're going to you know shut down your channel. And because if I'm not making money off of, of, off of my videos, then technically neither is YouTube. The second thing is they very rarely give out the big three strikes. What they usually do is there's like kind of three kinds of content ID match. The first one just says, okay, this belongs to someone else. You know, you're fine. The second Mm -hmm. one, uh, and actually, yeah, sometimes like ads will play for them to make money and it it still stays up on your channel because they're making money off you. The second one's the same way, except maybe the person doesn't want it played in Germany and you'll get a little yellow icon that says, okay, this is limited views and ads might appear to compensate, you know, so the publisher gets money. And then the, th- that, the, third... the, the, the weird, weird thing is that that uh, before you oh. go on, that that actually happened to one of the uh, the Eye Laser Beams podcast episodes. What? That was just guys talking. Well, the thing is, um, uh, Breakman did all the editing on that, right. and he would usually put in game music in between. Well, a couple of the uh, episodes were specifically uh... about like games we'd been playing see and he his his thing was rock band well rock band is full of licensed music so there was this massive content id match and we were basically blocked everywhere except uganda (laughs) practically it's usually not that bad but okay (laughs) anyone who's listening there's something we like to call the 30 second rule and no it doesn't involve food you can usually get away with playing 30 seconds of copyrighted music without getting any serious copyright stuff done you can go a little bit over and you might trigger one of the things to where it you know they want money from you but 30 seconds is usually that period of hey we're advertising the song for you basically like a demo or basically preview yeah. type thing. like um for the podcast mm-hmm. intro which will probably be on this video it might be a song from a game that goes a little bit over but a i don't really care because they can monetize it if they want and b it'll be like 10 seconds or 20 seconds before talking and then 10 of that or 10 or more will like bleed into people talking so you just they don't like it when it's just music that could be ripped and even then they're like okay we need to get on in on this we need our money's worth tag this video right now and 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 see i i do intend to be careful enough that that's not going to be an issue but I mean, it's it's not like I'm going to be playing, you know, entire, you know, sessions of rock band on YouTube. I mean, for one thing, I'm not nearly good Even enough to Even if they did, actually... they probably would just monetize it. See that? Well, and th- the thing is, you know, a- again, I'm going to do my research. And as long as the publisher and and or the developer is okay with it, then I'll be like, great, fine, whatever. You know, I'll, you know, I'll put money up but if i just want to play a game and i can't you know find any like bright green light that says you may monetize then i'll still record it i'll still put it up i'm just not going to go to the effort of monetizing Mm. it because i need to maintain sanity a steady well, I need to maintain a steady output of content on my channel, otherwise it's going to die off. Which is kind of sort of happening, I, sadly. Go subscribe to well, Crota Strider Gaming. You just do it. It's fun. <laughs> I make duck noises. Link in the description below. I make duck noises on shows there? I don't know. <laughs> Write that down for well, the project that must not be named. Duck noises required. Go. <laughs> well, let, let, let's, let, let me just say this. Uh, Jesse Cox and Wow Crandor have already done this game all the way through to the end, and they're currently working, and, so and, and they're, cur- they're currently airing the sequel. So. Oh, that's... I don't care. <laughs> You're the one who decided that I didn't know what you were talking about <laughs> until about two minutes after you actually went into this whole ramble about it's just the project which shall not be named. Wrapping up the copyright thing. Usually, the only thing that marks you down, like the big red marks... You know, you get three, your channel gets completely shut down and locked up. Usually that's like if you upload a complete Disney movie or something, you know. They, they, and people still manage to get away with yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes. So. <laughs> like, they split it up and Disney will be like, oh, eh, well, it's... People, big companies are realizing, hey, we can make money off of this. We don't have to just... We can get publicity off of this. We don't have to just completely shut it down. Well, now here's the weird thing. Yeah. Um, Nintendo oh God, no. 
They stopped that, no, finally. I think, I think they stopped that. They, did they? I think did they? they? Did. Because la- last I heard, it was still the, the big kerfluffle about N- Nintendo was basically saying, okay, yeah, we're going to do this, and we're going to you know, basically take 100% of the ad revenue. Which legally they can, that, though. That's what... Le- legally, but... You know, that's... The, it kind of, it's it's down to it, that comes down to what I like to call the Pacific Divide. What? Uh, hang hang with me. Oh, here. West East. Okay, I got you. I got you. Continents. Yeah, you, you, Pangea. Yes, you, you, I got you. The, 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 but but he, here's here's what I'm talking about though. The Pacific Divide is not f- geographical as much as it is a mindset that manifests itself on either side of the pacific ocean over here in north america developers are like hey this is a good way for us to get ad you know basically free advertisement for our games so in most cases especially on the indie side of things but a lot of the big name publishers are getting getting that way too you'll find okay sure you know go you know i mean Blizzard is one of the bigger names that is like go and go forth and make content. Mm-hmm. That's why you, that's why so many of these people who are in Hearthstone free, beta yeah. have are have so many videos up because they're allowed to to put monetized videos and up. Because of it, Hearthstone is. Games. I honestly, this might turn into another debate. Uh, I think the hype. I don't know about popularity, but hype. Hearthstone is kind of beating scrolls at the moment. Well, honestly, that's because only, be- only because it's Blizzard. It's because it's Blizzard. Yeah, it's because it's because it's Blizzard. Warcraft related. It's because Blizzard. It's already they've had it's, it's, exposure and advertisement because people make so much stuff related to got, uh, World of Warcraft and so. It's it's got an established uh, lore that you know you're playing around with in, in the game. I mean, it's a card game, so it's not going to be like you know. There's not going to be a raid boss or anything, unless they put something like that in later, because, you know, what? that's been done before. Anyway. Get, okay, never mind. Anyway, segueing from... I play. I played the original WoW trading card game, the one with physical cards. That's still around, by there the way. There were actually... There were, yes, there were, there, are, there were and are raid decks. For my girl. Multiple people... Multiple people teaming up against a deck that basically runs itself. If we ever meet up, we have to so buy one of those. So it's like a David and Goliath <laughs> mode type of thing? Kind of. It's just that you've got, you know, e- each person brings their own deck to the table. That's more so similar you have like to Dungeons and Dragons, actually, because you have like a NBC slash DM kind of deck. Like, like the like the card game version of Juggernaut mode from Halo. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> kind of, sorta, yeah. Okay, I know that was probably have, a really I, weird example, but you get the idea. Generally speaking, yeah. I haven't. I haven't played Halo in so long because I haven't had a 360. We played Reach. Neither have I, but I still remember. We played that. Reach like I want to say two Christmases ago. Well, Reach I... was fun. It was too short though. Do you guys happen to have the old, uh, the the PC version of the very first no. Halo? No. Oh, man, I should see if I can get copies for you. Yay! Because we had, we had played Halo. For at friends' houses for years before, years but the first Halo. Halo game that we ever actually owned ourselves was Halo Reach. Halo was my first M game, I believe. I snuck it in there. They weren't <laughs> supposed to be playing it, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I was like one of my." Friends I put on houses. my top hat, start pu- or like puffing out of my. Well, pipe. let's be honest. Hey, let, let, let's be honest though. Halo is not an M in the same way that Grand Theft Auto no. is an M. It's very so. sci-fi. But I put on my top hat and my and started smoking my pipe, and I went, "This is so peculiar. I must investigate." And then I l- fell in love with grunts. You were how old at one oh, at that eight. time? Seven? No, eight. Wait, no, it wasn't that ten? long ago. Yeah, it no later than ten. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I was introduced to the game industry from a very early age. Um, thank you, Pokemon Red and Blue. You are amazing. Anyway, um, segueing anyway. into Electronic Super Joy and yeah, we're, free we stuff. With that? I don't, it just kind of dropped. Uh, for anyone that was looking at, hold on, I gotta move the mic. For anyone that was watching the Twitter, uh, I was talking about. Okay, I, I probably need to think about like what the second game for IDL or IDLots is gonna be. 
because I probably need to mix it up a little, not just do like nothing but Dark Souls. And I found a game by the name of Race the Sun. If anyone has been watching Indie Static or anything over at Polaris, they were doing a big thing about it during their live stream. And it is amazing. And I'm like, okay, it's either this or Electronic Superjoy. These are the two nominees. And then all of a sudden, uh, a guy says, hey, I can hook you up with a key. I'm like, oh my god, yes, this is amazing. You know, sure, I love it. And then I realized he was one of the developers and I was talking like a moron. <laughs> so I was like, I'm incredibly humbled, sir. So, uh, yeah, thanks to... Hold on, I have his name here. I think it's Aaron Filippo? Aaron San Filippo from Flipfly, which is the developer. So yeah, he gave us a Race the Sun key. Yeah. Thank you, person. <laughs> Thank you for your contributions. <laughs> it was funny, though, because someone was like, I vote for uh, Race the Sun. And I thought noth nothing of it. It's like, oh, it's, it's a subscribe or something. And then when I was looking at his page, it said, you know, uh, married to so-and-so. I'm like, wait a minute. That's his wife. His wife found my post, went and told the husband, and then the husband sent me a key. What? And I didn't even use any hashtags. I was just talking about it. I didn't do, like, hashtag race the sun or anything. Well, I didn't uh, hashtag electronic superjoy either, but I still got a, a fave on that particular tweet of mine uh, from the composer, because I was gushing about how <laughs> awesome the music was. <laughs> guy guy so. from electronic superjoy. Give this man free shit. You you need to. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't be a beggar. So anyway, I was supposed to record that today. Today was supposed to be like the recording day, but old people in naps don't really mix with uh, recording, so I apologize. This will probably go up before any other videos and such. So yeah, that's what's been going on with us yeah. this week. Yeah, I've I've been looking through my uh, Steam library while we were talking, seeing if I could find anything that would fit into the I die lots rage uh, <laughs> ca Pure category. Rage. The 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 only thing that I can really find right off the top of my head would be Limbo. Uh Limbo is too easy. I've watched bits of it, and Su Super Fair Meat enough. Boy I think is too hard for me. I think that would be so boring. I have to speed it up. See, here, here, here's, here's the weird thing about difficulty in games. Uh, there was actually a, an extra credits episode oh, on boy. this. Basically, y you have to make it just difficult enough to be challenging, but you ha still have to make it accessible. Super Meat Boy Super is Meat Boy, hard. But they made the point that iteration, getting to start over quickly without having to go through a ridiculously long uh, respawn animation or whatever yeah. helps a lot. Well, isn't VVV Basically, like that, too? Yeah, it is. But here, but here's the weird thing. VVVVVV... VVVV. VVVV. V, v to the sixth was ridiculously hard, but I still managed to master it. You actually... Okay. Super... I got all of the shiny trinkets and beat the game and unlocked the uh, I, th I think it, I think it was the the challenge mode Go uh, you. like the, the lab which basically hey now you have all these other like things to do to go do but you know it's, it's, sort, of, it's sort of like a trophy room after you beat the huh. game but super meat boy made me rage quit so fast I, I know so many people that like emotionally like got <laughs> so aggressive they just could not talk to people for weeks after playing it i think and, and here's the and here's the thing it's not you know super meat boy isn't even technically massacore platforming what how how is that not because in every form be, be, because the game follows its own rules. The game does not break its own rules. The game does not pull in I want to be the guy and have apples falling upwards out of trees to kill you. <laughs> it sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Take and this, yet, <laughs> Well, here, here's the weird thing. Tribulation mode and Super Adventure Box 
leans a lot more heavily we're towards coming full I circle. Be the guy territory. We're coming full circle. It's yep, coming back to Guild Wars 2. But here's the thing. Even though it's like ridiculously cheap and is harder than at sometimes than others because of lag, I still managed to actually get to where I enjoy doing tribulation mode runs to get more weapon skins. So that frog and I, 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 I I enjoy it. It's you know it's kind of fun. And besides, I want to have, you know, a whole set of, you know, shiny green weapons to level <laughs> up with. So. Does the actual hologram pattern change color? The, wait, like, what? Like, like the, the weapon skins, skins are like some blue, some green. Yeah, the whole oh, thing the, the blue ones? shade from blue That's to green cool. to yellow, depending on which the, one you have. Yeah, the, the, the blue ones are the ones that anybody can just earn uh, baubles and buy off of the vendor. The green ones, you have to, um, you you have to beat all three zones in World One, and the yellow ones are all three zones in World Two. Maybe I should. There's going to be, there's there's going to be red and purple when Worlds Three and Four get released, probably Wait, next April. Maybe I should like sell the one I have, because by the sounds of it, the price is going to drop significantly with so many people doing this. I don't know because well n- well no because here's the thing. The tribulation mode weapon mm-hmm. skins are a camp bound. You can, you know, it, oh. it's it's sort of a it's, it's sort of a status symbol. Hey, look at me! I actually beat tribulation mode on World X. I've got the green one. So weapons, the blue ones the are the ones weapons. you can sell. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna hang on to it. Yeah, the the blue the blue ones that drop out of the chest, like the one you got, those are the only ones you can sell. The ones that you buy off the vendor are account bound too so there's actually quite a bit of rarity hang on to it until skins. march of next year and sell it for a ludicrous amount of money right before <laughs> or just you know i mean keep keep an eye on the trading post and speculate on and as soon as you think that the price is going to drop which is you know maybe closer to next april go for it you know mm, what else can we talk about should we talk about newsy news there's two things that we kind of missed well we can sort we can sort of take the segue on Guild Wars to talk about some game-specific news. Oh, yeah. What happened? I think Carta's been itching over some of the new content that's do we f- both recently been released and about to be released next patch. Do we patch. finally get stuff other than Super Adventure Box? <laughs> there was the yeah, Quaddle Su- Rising Adventure Box is, Super Adventure Box is going away. To Quaddle, I haven't beaten him yet because I just... It's too hard. I thought they added like it way ju- too much stuff. It's 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 not the difficulty, it's the fact that it requires a very high amount of coordination amongst a very large number of people, which you're not mm-hmm. going to get from random. <laughs> like, I, w- I was actually watching a Guild Wars 2 live stream one night of someone who was playing commander for a server on the Topodle fight and after watching this girl like marshalling everybody you can actually see that if everybody does everything right just how they're supposed to with good leadership and everything the fight is actually easy the hard part is seriously just getting everybody in the right place at the right time doing the right thing yeah the actual things you have to do aren't that hard it's just getting everybody doing it all at once emory bay had more like really big guilds Gentlemen, you have a mission. <laughs> Go amass my armies. Okay. Frog Gaming is recruiting, by the way. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, if um, anyone plays Guild Wars 2, <laughs> you should totally join the guild because yeah, these guys are always doing something. I don't play much, but I don't know. Forum post, forum post pending group editorial. Carta, get on that. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, back, back to uh, the, the I'm, I'm working on it. Honestly, difficulty aside, there are still problems with it. If you if you want a big detailed rundown of exactly what they are, other YouTubers have already made better videos of that. Just give us the them out. But sixty second rundown. It's like the way overflows work. It's way too hard to actually get into an organized group. They need to change the way that the overflow servers work. What? Because it'll put you in an overflow and with like not enough people, or. Yeah, basically. Uh, 
that and people trying to guest to other servers and then getting put in that server's overflow. Are you talking like a and then tonight? <laughs> like, like if an, if enough people are in one area, there will be like an overflow to the overflow. No oh my joke. God. <laughs> there, no, there can be multiple overflows. And like if you're in like the highest it, one, the queue pops, you think you're getting into the main server and you're actually just shifting over one overflow closer. Oh my gosh. Arena Net, what are so you doing? There, that ha- that happened to me waiting. once or twice during the Scarlet invasions, actually. Yeah, there will be people waiting around for hours just to get into the main server. And then like by the time they actually get in, all the commanders from the main server are getting off for the night because they've been doing it all day and they're tired. They should be able to do it on the overflows, though. It's just that hard to organize oh, people. My God, I it's, been, it's been done on overflows, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's possible. Just not probable. Yeah. And then like even like the technical stuff and organization both aside the drops are honestly still crap needs more loot <laughs> it's, it no it's it has i recently found out that it's become a running joke about guild wars 2 and whenever somebody from the outside asks a guild wars 2 player you know what the game's like the snap answer is good game crap loot that's actually a good that's like a the good moral point story of the whole game it's yeah, a great don't game get good drops really from anywhere loot. you don't I mean, that's that's why whenever I get a new character to level 80, the first t- thing I do is go do dungeon runs for tokens, because at least that way you know how much work you have to do to get stuff. At least uh, tokens yeah, are count by I actually, I actually need to, I need to uh, do Sorrow's Embrace several times. I'll cause, run it with you. Yeah, because the, the legendary that I want to make for my guardian, I've gotten both the crafting professions up to 400 on my mesmer i just need to now start working on everything else so i'm since since i've already got over over 50 percent map completion on my mesmer i'm probably just going to use her to get map completion and enough uh, skill points to get those things and then um i'll get 500 world v world badges in my next achievement chest so i'll just pick that up as soon as i get that but i've got i've got the sigil that i need i just need to start working on collecting the individual materials which is going to take a while probably another four to five months just because some of those things are daily specific are you talking about legendary weapon or yeah i'm i'm trying to i'm trying i'm gonna try to craft i'm gonna try to craft the juggernaut juggernaut's long story made short long story made short legendary weapons are a bitch yes they are (laughs) <laughs> Does that conclude the Guild Wars 2 talks? Because I've got like three slash two yeah, pieces I've, of th- news in my was, head. The last thing I was going to say about the Tequattle fight was just about the loot. You know, everybody was joking around back in the early stages before anyone had actually managed to beat it. Like, you know, I hope it's not a bunch of greens and blues and stuff in those chests. Greens and blues. <laughs> Every, yeah, everybody was yep. laughing about it, but that's actually the case. You know, everybody was freaking out when they heard about the sunless weapons the the new ascended weapons that you mm. can get everybody's thinking you're not okay, gonna get any you're not gonna get any better chance of getting an ascended weapon off of Tequaddle than you are anywhere else is the though. exp and gold everybody... good though off of Tequaddle? uh just about the same as any okay, other that's world dumb. Fight. <laughs> yeah it's like everybody was hoping that it was like the bonus chest you get at every 25 percentile of hp was like a normal loot chest and then the very last one at the end when you actually kill it was like a guaranteed ascended just because it's that hard to do but no every single one is like same old fair the 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 zero the zero percent chest has the same chance at loot as all the as the 25 the 50 and the 75 that's silly basically silly silly arena so they're we're two. Wait, no, I almost said two deaths. That's bad. Um, the was he the current president of Nintendo that died? Last former time? president. Former president. He, he he was he was the oh, one that yeah. uh, Iwata San took over from. What is his name? I feel so bad because no one really knew about him until he died, which is really sad. But he's the one that basically took Nintendo and raised it up from like a card company and turned it into video game and like multimedia gaming and stuff. 
we basically owe our childhoods to him, and I can't even remember <laughs> his name. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, too. Do you guys remember? Hold on, maybe I can look it up. Uh, talk. Talk whilst I type, friends. <laughs> Not you, your mic's <laughs> popping like crazy. Wait, yes. me? Oh, come on, not again. <laughs> uh, former... Is it doing the robotic no, thing? No, it's just popping. Ugh. President... Uh, I just want his name. Just give me his name, IGN. Do, 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 do. Yamauchi... Uh, oh, Hiroshi Yamauchi. Right. He has the best smile in the world, and he wears aviators. I approve. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's just a bit of sad news. Moment of silence. We have an, we have enough silence on this show as it is, don't we? Okay, okay. okay. I am ruining it. Rest in peace, yes, good sir. Yes, you you gave us, you gave us a lot. And then it, it would probably be more fitting to honor the guy by playing some old Nintendo tunes or yeah, something. Uh, I'll put like uh, Mario or something as the intro song and outro. Anyway. And then the second person, this isn't really gaming related, but I guess it's nerd culture. Who is the, I always forget his name, the uh, film producer? Ayao Miyazaki. Yes, who did Totoro, My Neighbor Totoro, Howl's Moving Castle, all of like the good Eastern movies that most of us. Probably. He's retiring. He's retiring. He's not dying, thank God. But I hope he like like assists or what's the word um contributes in some way to like other directors or something because he was really cool i remember he's one of the only guys to where they make the film in japanese and then he still cares about the english version like he he would pick out uh all of the voice actors and make sure they worked and the end product instead yeah. of just handing it off to a north american team what, he would actually participate in the dub. I think that's actually why everyone knows about his movies because they weren't like the cheesy, crappy dubbed uh, Japanese movies. That, that that and they were you know published you know in the uh, in the U.S. by Disney. They so. were. Oh, <gasps> they were. Oh my God! Why why don't we not, have Totoro? Uh, and... may, may, maybe not. Maybe not all of them. Why don't but... we have Totoro and Kingdom Hearts? Oh, why thinking, do we not have no, Totoro and Kingdom no. Hearts? God damn it! Why not? Because that would ruin it. Be awesome cat bus between it worlds. Ruin, it would ruin the you know the Miyazaki side of things. It wouldn't necessarily ruin Kingdom Hearts, but Totoro saves you saves you from Darth Vader. It's full circle. What? It all makes sense. No, no, let's no, uh, no, don't even why get is this started last movie on about, that whole can of worms. Why is this last movie about planes though? It just kind of seems like a tad too. I don't know. Why was Totoro all about giant raccoons? Because giant raccoons were freaking amazing. I don't know. I'm not hating. It wasn't. That's the point. <laughs> hate. Just wait. And Howl's see. Moving Castle diverted way away from the original book halfway through. So let's not even get started. My point on that, okay? is. Based my point. Book. Yes, it, it, there's a book. My point is. And the author is incredible. She has written so many things, and they are all so my good. My point being. My, my wife's been collecting her my stuff. My point being that it's like, it seems so like real world. You know, all this stuff has always seemed like really magical or like, you know, something otherworldly i guess it's easy to relate to somehow yeah. like, there's something about it that it might be really really good we don't know but it, it, isn't it about a guy who like invented like one of the big japanese warplanes and then it's like his mission is to improve it or something i don't know we'll have to see i'll have to watch that movie just to see what's all about. i hadn't heard a lot of details about the movie i just the last thing i heard was about him retiring and that being mm -hmm. his last what else do we have? Oh yeah, isn't Steam Carter? You might know more about this. Isn't Steam doing crazy stuff? Saying Linux is the future. S Praise Steam. the sun. Steam. <laughs> Good old Steam. Well, they made three announcements over the past Steam week. Steam Box is coming the out. First the, 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 the first announcement was that they're creating a Steam OS. Which is Linux. Google tried Go Google tried that and was their own operating and, system. Don't Chromebooks run off of that? Yes. How'd that work? How did that work for them? How well, many enough, enough that they keep putting quite a few, and enough that they keep putting Chromebooks out. But still, I mean, that's just okay. Google's doing an operating system that makes sense. Steam doing an operating system though, that's kind of out there. 
if it were for the Steam box is one thing, but they're like, hey, put this on your gaming well, PC. Here, well, he, well, if it's could. free, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. D- do oh, yeah, it's it's do still you, going to be just as free as Steam Ubuntu normally is. Too. Do you have to connect to the internet to use Microsoft Office? Well, it wouldn't have Microsoft Office, that's the thing. Your computer would literally just be for games. How hackable is Linux, though? Because that brings up the question... Incredibly so. It is? Okay, so that brings up the question, how... S- it's it's much it's much more toward, you know, geared... Li- Linux is much more geared towards the people who like to tinker with stuff. Because, like, how secure is it? Because I heard, like, Mac Depends is really hard. Like, Mac is really hard to hack. But Linux is, like, wide open. Isn't it? Well, Mac, that's, that's because Apple has decided that they should be the final arbiter of how you use your computer. Oh, dear God. <laughs> which, for oh. my iPhone, is fine. I have no problem with that. But for my computer, no. Well, like, explain. What are they doing? I, if if I if if I want to screw with stuff on my Windows PC, I can do it, and Windows isn't going to try to stop me. But like, they may say, "Hey, are you sure you want to do this?" And I'll be like, "Yes." And I'll be like, "Okay." Well, like, Whereas Mac the, will like tell you you can't do certain things with your computer. Well, not so much that as Mac. Max, if something breaks on your Mac. Yeah. You can't just go in and replace it. You gotta go down and have it fixed by the people at the Genius uh, Bar down at your local Apple store. <laughs> Did you just say? It sounded like you said Bible store. Apple store. Oh god. So I don't know. Like okay, Steam Box is cool. Steam controller, I guess, is inevitable. But I don't know. The Steam. I I actually kind of like the idea of the Steam controller, especially the fact that it basically has Joy to Key integrated into really? it. That's nice. Yeah, it's going. It's they're going to set up so that way you can use the Steam controller with games that are older that were not designed with a controller in mind. Can you buy it separately, because or does it, it only it, go? It will, it will emulate. It will emulate a keyboard. Can and you mouse. buy it separately, it, or does it have to go to a Steam Box? I would not surprise. Well, considering that the Steam Box is less of a physical entity and more of a set of specifications yeah. that multiple manufacturers are going to be uh allowed it's a brand, to brand more of a brand with. yeah it's 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 kind of like how you know you've got windows pc now well now it's going to you know now there's going to be steam machines it's like steam machines hey, you know, we're... <laughs> sorry yeah I and, and granted a lot of a lot of uh a lot of these you know steam machines are going to be you know a, bit, a lot of them may come with a controller but i would not be surprised to see the controllers sold completely by themselves and i will probably go out and get one day one just because (laughs) it looks like a really cool idea my only concern is the os because that just seems like you could just crack it wide open you don't you don't have to run the os if you don't want to true i'm just saying like well the the controller is designed to be hackable as heck too well it's a controller (laughs) of course you're supposed to be able to break into it and mess with it I'm just talking about like an OS. Well, I I guess it's not going to be a normal OS though. All it's going to do is basically run Steam and let you turn the computer on. And how will that work? How do you manage? How no, do you no, manage all grant, of your? Granted, they may they, they may stuff. you know start. Well, they they may start including like a Netflix app on Steam or something oh, God, like no. that. Just no, to. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not saying that they will. No. Just that it would not surprise me if they did, simply because well, hey, it's you know if this is going to be your you know, living room, you know, entertainment system sort of box, then why not? And it's actually a good move, both for Steam and for Netflix. I'm not saying that everyone's going to need it. A lot of people may not want to bother with it, mm-hmm. and they don't have to. So, I mean, it's the sort of thing that, you know, I'm not saying it needs to be done necessarily, but it would be kind of cool if they did. So hmm. I think that's about it for news that we get. There, there hasn't been like that much catastrophic news going around. Last time we got so much cool stuff to it, talk about. Yeah, it has been kind of a slow news week. I mean, but there's there's a game coming out two days. No. It it well not a game but more more so the, the, the a patch. patch. Yes. But we yes. don't want to talk about and that because it'll go on for hours. Terraria, the new patch is coming out. Yes, I'm. I, I'm actually looking at the uh, the Terraria 1.2 change log, and there's some nice stuff. Are we in gonna there. do that in your channel? We're basically gonna retcon and reboot 
the old series we were doing yeah. on Carter's channel, and well, then when we do Edge of Space, it, we will do it on my especially, channel. Especially since, spoiler warning, skip ahead about 15 seconds, there's a space biome. Sp what? Exactly. Wait. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wait, wait, but that, okay. I d yeah. Okay, from this... We don't even know, we, we don't even need to go to a different game now. If it, no, I d we can. I want to talk about this, do. but I don't know if it's a spoiler. Damn it, Carta. Let's just wait until. But there are other games. Why don't we? Just, that... Why don't we? Why don't we just make it part of the? Yeah, let's just make it. Let's just make it part of the, the, the you know adventure. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, yeah. Total Biscuit and Jesse got a head start, but let's be honest, they're probably not going to make that much progress anytime yeah. soon. <laughs> This, Especially since they started fresh with brand new characters. That was probably well. We, we they could carried the over. They carried over very little. I want to keep at least keep the stuff that we've got, just so we have a little bit of a head start, honestly. Because yeah. I hate, hate, hate trying to. I have a question though. You know, trying, trying, trying to do that initial gearing stage sucks. It's boring. Okay, so. I'm just gonna say this. I'm. I, it's not really gonna be spoiled, but okay. Uh, that's not a spoiler though. That's a feature, okay? What you said earlier. Okay, yeah, okay. Starbound is basically Terraria in space. Edge of Space is basically Terraria in space, and now Terraria has stuff. It's like what? And then Terraria is cross-promoting with Edge of Space now, so it's like they're all mm -hmm. cross-promoting each other, but they're turning into the same thing. What? No, because Starbound's trying to Starbound's kind of diverging from Terraria. Oh, Edge, it, well, I think Starbound's trying to trying to do their own thing with like the traveling to different planets on your ship and that sort of stuff. Edge of Space, I think, is more That's story. Not, like there are missions and stuff you can do. It's not just like free form. I'm not sure. Well, Edge of Space is still very much in, a work in progress. I mean, they still haven't re-enabled the multiplayer, so we're not going to have a series for that. I'm for tempted quite a to while, do single but... player, so I can finally teach you how to do something. But yeah, it's like ugh. I just love Edge of Space's like art style and stuff, and I want my flying squirrel pet damn it i paid extra money for that <laughs> yeah you 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 paid me to buy you yeah i, the I extra paid money, you. so what shut did, up what did i buy you in exchange i don't uh i forget it was something I on steam that's all i remember yeah they're, they're, it, it, i think i think you bought me something on steam and they've migrated over in, to in just exchange, steam now i think they don't have a website anymore yeah yeah well, it works. Which for honestly, I I I think Desura still works though. Oh, it does. I think so. I'm not sure. I completely forgot about Desura. Do I still have that on this computer? Hold on. I probably don't. I don't. I think I might have got. I think I might have gotten rid of it just because everything that I was playing on Desura, I also had on Steam anyway. So. Desura is a cool idea, but it's all Desura is kind of like Steam for yeah for anyone that know, doesn't know. But that's that's much more focused on indie. The, titles. the problem is, it's a lot of hey, I made a half-assed game, an RPG maker for an hour here, buy it for five bucks, kind of thing. And some of them are really good, but some of them are really bad. and and yeah, and it's you know voting with your wallet sort of deal. It is. So. Oh yeah, they have like in development. I found some really cool in dev and not in dev stuff on Desire that I was like, oh, I gotta buy this instantly, but no money. But yeah. But as you know, as as far as that Terraria, I don't know. We can coin flip if you want, just to you know see. Because if if I'm doing Saints Row, then we oh. could probably put Terraria. Oh. Up the <laughs> Cats out of the bag. Anyway, wait. What you do so, Saints Row? What? Uh, you if if I'm doing Saints Row, you could do no, Terraria. No, you can have fine. Terraria. That's fine. Because okay. I'm gonna end up with Edge of Space but, eventually. Oh yeah, because because I'm looking at uh, I'm I'm. I'm I'm looking at kind of having a couple of cornerstone series. Uh, Saints Row is going to be one mm -hmm. of them. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have the Lenny plays where I bring out the Muppet <laughs> and uh, have him play through Minecraft adventure I maps. I have honestly thought of making a Muppet. I think that would be hilarious. And we could do. You can get the kits at Toys Hold R Us. On, wait, uh, can I open this without crashing our little recording? I was. Is there a frog? Muppet kits on Amazon. Hold, keep talking. Keep talking. You could probably. I, I think one of them. Uh, let's see. I think one of them might actually be green. Uh, 
I'm not sure, but I think one of them might be green. I know there's an orange one and a blue one, but I think there might be a green one that I'd have to Damn check. Damn it, Kermit the Frog. Why are you everywhere? <laughs> You're amazing, and I want you on my show, but my God, man. Uh, maybe... You, he, he works for Disney now. You can't afford him. <laughs> Actually, it's the son of the original guy because the original guy passed away recently. There, no, not recently. It was a while ago. Recently, a, a yeah, while a while back. And now his son does it. Jim Henson. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. J Jim Henson's been been deceased for several years now. Well, sorry. But I actually had a little thing on the radio about him recently. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. Sean and I were listening to that. We listen to the radio. We are old school. <laughs> anyway. So, but yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at doing that. I also want to do a, a series that I'm going to call Level 1, where I just play the first level of a game. That is a really cool idea. I mean, I kind of do, like, I try to stick to, uh, like, newer stuff or stuff people haven't found for, like, on the net and stuff. But I think that's a cool idea to just pick up a game and say, hey, I'm just going to do the first whatever of it. Yeah, the, the the first level, the first mission, you know, it depends on exactly, you know, like I could easily do, you know, Force Unleashed 2 again for for that. YouTube.com slash gaming, go subscribe, go. <laughs> Why am I shamelessly promoting you on my show? This makes no sense. Because pe because people are already here list on your channel listening to us ramble, totally. so clear clearly, you know, I need more promotion on your channel than you this do. This is going to be a very, like, mellow cast because it's, like, very late at night. Everyone's <laughs> tired. We're trying to be quiet. And, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry if this yeah, is I mean, incredibly, yeah, just, like, not our usual. Yeah, because... I've just got so many games that I could just very easily just run through and go, okay, let's do the first level of this game. Let's do the first level. Let's do the first mission in this game. Let's, you know, yeah. let's play, uh, you know, let's play the, the the first, you know, 10 minutes or so of The Void. What the hell That's, game is that, that? that? Wait, I think I heard you, I remember you saying something about it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of trippy. Trippy game? So. <laughs> Fascinating. That's probably the closest I'll ever get to playing anything like Amnesia, so... Oh, it's like scary trippy. Amnesia isn't scary, my god, you people. I'm not saying it's scary. Oh. I'm just saying it's, you know... The only reason I it's stopped... Outside, it, it, it's, it's outside my comfort zone. Let's the only reason I way. stopped is, like I said, I think last podcast, is it took too much prep to, like, blacken all the windows. And it's just... It's not, it's not <laughs> as much fun if you know what's coming, and it... Well, even even so, it it just wasn't that scary to me. Too overdone by now. Yeah, and see, the problem with, like, scare cams is you need a small light on. Albeit, like, I had it in window mode, and that kind of wasn't... Well, that's what a lot of people do. They'll do window mode, and then the brightness from the back of the screen will light up your face while you're looking into the game. Uh, or you have to have a light on the side. That, for some people, that, you know, you still have, like, the dark am ambiance around you, and then it's just, like, your little light blinding you, which makes the darkness even worse. But for me, that kind of takes it away. I think for me to be scared, like, shitless, I'd have to be, like, in total darkness, full screened. What I'm saying is I need night vision. <laughs> if someone would like to buy a <laughs> night vision lens for me to use, I might do horror games, but... But then that takes away from the reaction because the night vision goggles are covering no, 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 no. half your night face vision for the camera i would be in darkness yeah no. you see what i'm saying oh my god i forgot to talk about the fact that i cut my beard a little or my gird this just didn't we need like news news fanfare going on this just in um so i trimmed the handlebar Wait, we're having a separate news <laughs> section about my your facial beard. hair yes it's it's getting towards the end of the show this is where we talk about my face for a little bit so i trimmed you know there was actually a comment about that in the comment section for the last what podcast what did they say? somebody was saying that you should diet. oh yeah things. they agreed with me saying well i can still dye it it's just okay let me speak the handlebar is gone it's kind of like cut down. It's groomed, and it's just like this little mustache on the top of my lip. Looks very nice. And then I have like a little pair of goatee that goes to a point. I just trimmed it up. It's it's the same same beard, but it's more goateeish now. My hair has this really weird thing where it grows sideways. It's a pain in the ass. 
Uh, oh, don't take that the wrong way, kids. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is there anything else we can talk about? Is there anything else we can talk about for, like, five minutes? We got, like, five more minutes. Well, the... There, there, there was the other thing that I wanted to ask you guys okay. about. Go. Mm. Would you be interested no. in doing a live streamed tabletop campaign? Yes, Newton. For what, like Dungeons and Dragons, Iron Kingdoms type of thing? It could be Iron Kingdoms. It could be Malfo. Although I think I'd have to wait for the official release of the game to actually get away with that one. We were close to it. Still Iron in beta. It, it's it's still in beta, and we we were. I might see if there's any way I can like make a transition work between the two, just because I really want to play the Malfo mm. one because the concept behind it is really cool and everything. But here's the thing: I've got. Uh, basically two webcams, my iPhone, my wife's iPod Touch. Mm-hmm. Those can work as, as webcams. I could actually rig up something to have those show like the table with all of the miniatures representing the different characters, mm-hmm. and we could actually do like the tactical table stuff. Oh, instead and of just using a program? Huh. Instead of just using a program, we would still need we we would still want to use Hangouts so that we could use Roll Twenty for dice rolls. I wish you had a and, camera and, like mine, and, and, and or card flips. I'm going to save up for one. No, I got it's the, just I going got to take the ridiculously expensive one. But yeah, you're gonna get the I'm, one I'm, step down. I'm, I could do it, but see, here's so, the thing with me, me and role plays. You, I play the kind of characters that are ridiculously goofy, spontaneous. And maybe That's and maybe perfect. fourth wall breaking. <laughs> That's so you're perfect. The inst- you're I don't the mind. Like I said before, I'm not sure I, if I said this before on the podcast. I, I don't mind having I don't mind having players like. I'm not that sure if I said this all. before on the podcast, but when Ruby came out, my character for Iron Kingdoms was essentially a slightly more sporadic version of Roman Torchwick. <laughs> Looked basically the same as him. Slap a gas mask on there. I I had the gun cane before the gun cane was a thing. Remember, you guys were like, "What? Why would you? Why would you want the gun cane and a fedora?" And it's like, "There's Roman. He does the same exact thing." So yeah, I don't know. I will do it if you are up for all the crazy. How about you, Shane? Yeah, I'd be up for it. I. I've been wanting to do like Iron Kingdoms ever since we first sat down and talked about it. I'm open to okay. the Malifaux game, but I have not read any of the book on it yet. I know nothing I'll, about I'll, it. I'll, I'll, hook you, I'll hook you guys up with a... Uh, no, I have oh. a copy of it, I just haven't read it yet. Well, it's, it's been updated. It's intimidating. It's, 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 it's still in a beta phase, so it's... Um, te- technically, it's not publicly available. Oh no! But I heard a. What did you I, do? <laughs> no, 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 no! L- hear okay. me out. I have beta access because I backed the game uh, when it was on Kickstarter. So I am allowed to distribute to people I will be playing. Oh, with. okay, that makes sense. So it's kosher. Dodge the bullet. <laughs> it's it's Neo kosher. Dodge we'll be fine. Bitch. <laughs> and I I do. Uh, K- Kess is definitely interested. Oh, Kess is going to do. Okay, I was going to say. Hold on, before you continue. Our problem last time is we had way too many damn people that weren't able to commit. We had me, we had Shane, you were actually going to play a card, uh, uh, character Carta, even though you were going to DM too. We had Faith, <laughs> we had Theo, we had Prini. It was getting ridiculous. If it was like me... It was hard to even fit our character storylines together. We almost gave Carter a heart attack. It was <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> out how the characters was like would coexist in a group together without killing each other. It was like me, Shane, and Kess. That's just part of the Me, fun. Shane, and Kess, I think we, we could do. No, we, we actually, well, no, I, here, we actually here's, kind here's, of had multiple groups within the group that all sort of kind of came together somehow. We weren't sure we were going to figure it out. Here's, here's the thing. I also have uh, another friend of mine who has expressed interest in playing and yeah. uh guest Kess's star one, one of kess's brothers is interested in playing the friend of mine has expressed interest in basically acting as a gmpc what where basically he's in on everything but he's still playing along with you guys so he's he's basically able to act as sort of my mouthpiece in a sense why wouldn't but he's still a member of the party. Why wouldn't he just play a character? 
he honestly doesn't believe he's a good enough like player. He really thinks he's a better DM. Hmm. I I you know, he never lets himself be a player. He's always got to be, you know, like running it. So hmm. I'm trying to help him like see the other side of the screen for once. <laughs> yeah. Pardon the but pun, it, but it, if if letting him if letting him be in charge of you know ba- basically like have him be like in charge of the party or the the, the guiding light the... but not necessarily the most depth of character yeah i could go for that we it's definitely a possibility if someone's listening to this and they've gotten this far they'd probably be interested in watching it yeah yeah so we we may need to start with iron kingdoms and then transition to uh the malifos system Mm-hmm. They're in the same At world, some right? Point. No, they're not. No, they're not. Right. Completely separate. But given that I am the Chrono Strider after all, I will find a way to make <laughs> transition work. You okay. Will punch space time I, shenanigans. You'll punch through that meta. Dang you will punch through that meta hard. I I will find the drill that pierces the heavens and I will make that hole. Look no further than your legs, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was not necessary. Yes, it was. Of course, it was necessary. Um, Hush. Anyway, but yeah, I, I and and you know, I would I would love to actually have it be like a like a live streamed thing and have it be like an improvisational performance. I do need to clear it with everybody else because I'm not going to record it or anything or or stream it unless everybody's okay yeah. with it. Right. Guess it. Guess is fine with it. Sounds like you guys are fine with it, but I gotta we check do with this it. For a hobby. the other one. Or, I got. I gotta do it with the ch- check with the one one or two other people who are going to be involved. Hmm. Okay. If they're if they're not okay with it, then I will find something else to put on my channel. Sounds channel. like a plan. I want to do more stuff so. with Kess. It's just she's always busy. For anyone who doesn't know, Kess is. Can I say? Is that like secret? Yes. Okay. Kess is Carta's wife. They have a family and stuffs because they're actually a part of the real world and not like secluded hermits. Like, <laughs> just 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 in case anybody happens to know what the heck I'm about to to be talking about, uh, and you know, there's going to be there may be some crossing of the streams here. Kess formerly went on the internet as Net Raptor, still does on occasion. If that means anything to you, awesome. If not, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yeah, the, I, most, I hate to break it to you, Carter, but most of my audience is pretty young. I think they would have been in, like, it... preschool when you guys were hopping around the internet. Uh, yes. Sean, that was, that was only, like, seven years oh ago. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, I was, I was in elementary back then. Anyway. Oh, time well, you just a youngin'. I'm a youngin'. You're <laughs> god dang nabby. Okay. <laughs> you so yeah, if, if your, you guys... Oops, and your iPhones, and your PCPs, and... Anyway. If anyone <laughs> watching would like to watch a live uh, role-playing game, you can let us know in the comments. And if you have uh, any facial hair <laughs> stories to share with the community, you can put them there, too. Thank you guys for watching and stuffs and I don't know. We're gonna try to do this more often and hopefully now that you have a headset, Carta, we can do it every week. I and, and and here's the beautiful thing: since this is a wireless headset, I could actually do the whole tabletop thing without needing to be tethered to my c- computer because I'm pretty sure this will reach all the way out there. Awesome. So it'll be interesting. Yes. It'll be very it'll interesting. Be a date. So. Cue dramatic yeah. music from prehistoric Nintendo games and stuff. Ed, do the Zelda theme. Ed, it's always gotta be the Zelda theme. Edna mod. Chick chick. Ed guest. What? Obscure movie references. Ran- obscure. That's not random. Nintendo. Yes, obscure. No. Well, not that. That was a good movie. Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. Okay. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> I don't. I don't know.